Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to episode number 25 of Constructing Los Angeles Season 2. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the city. We're ready to continue to make some building progress today, and today is going to be another post-commentary episode, actually the first one that I've done in quite a while, but uh, I wanted to, to take a step back and do one of these today uh, for the 25th episode. We're going to make this a little bit of a special episode compared to normal. Uh, as you, If you guys know, way back in the day, way, way back at the beginning of Constructing Los Angeles Season 1, on the first time we did a 25th episode, I did, I believe, a one-hour special. Uh, but since last episode was about 40 minutes long, I decided that today I'm going to do a 10-minute commentary, but I'm going to answer two questions of the day. So I picked out two questions of the days from the comments, and we are going to respond to both of those today. But before we get to any of that, let's go ahead and talk about the build a little bit. So I made some nice progress on the very, very start of our college campus, the University of Los Angeles here in LD. Um, one thing I want to say though, thank you guys so much for the support on last episode. I think I got like 600 likes, tons of comments. You guys seem to be really hyped about me starting a university. And uh, you know, it got me pretty hyped about it as well. So I ended up going on my stream um, a couple days ago and I actually built the entire exterior of the first classroom building. Um, and I thought it turned out very good. We have kind of like this colonial theme. It's got a bell tower with a clock on the front, some nice window designs, and a pretty good solid floor plan. It's a pretty large build in general. So we pretty much got that whole thing done on my stream exterior wise. So today what you're going to see me working on is just a multitude of things. I'm going to be basically building a front lawn. So uh, instead of having a road right up against this building like I originally had uh, during the building of last episode, what I've decided to do is just basically just flatten out that road with a bunch of grass, and I'm going to build some sort of college lawn in the front of that building. And my hope is that there's going to be the building there that we've already created, another one next to it, and then across the lawn from it, there's going to be a couple more. So there's going to be like four classrooms, a lawn separating them, and there'll be little pathways that run through the lawn, maybe a fountain in the middle. Um, some We'll do some winding pathways so it'll look nice and cool. Uh, lots of shrubbery and we're going to add some trees and park benches and things like that. Um, this is something that you'll see very often on college campuses, some sort of like large grassy field where students can just basically just go and sit during like the warmer months of the year, depending on, you know, the climate of the campus here at uh, university of Los Angeles, the climate's going to be pretty nice throughout the whole year. So, uh, it should be utilized quite often. So. I'm going to be working on that lawn today. I'm also going to be getting started with uh, just some preliminary planning for the next building, which is basically what I was doing last episode for the first building. So there's something, you know, a little bit of similarity there between last episode. So I'm uh, just kind of working on this college. This is going to be a big project. It's going to be a really long term project since I'd, I want this to be a pretty decent sized campus. And we have so many requests for it in the comments. You know, you guys threw a bunch of ideas at me, which I really appreciate. And I've already made a list of like tons of things I'm going to be adding. Um, you know, a dorm, a, a, we're going to add dorms, apartment buildings, uh, some sort of college town with places to eat, um, a library, obviously, we're going to add a dining hall, frat houses, all that stuff is going to be thrown in, obviously classrooms as well, which, which we're kind of working on right now. So it should be a really nice campus. Um, as you guys know, the stadium is already, you know, built for the football team, but we might have to build like some baseball fields and maybe even like a basketball arena. I don't know if I'm actually going to do those things because that could take a long time, but this is a long-term project and it's going to be like one of the big projects of Los Angeles. And I've had stuff like that in the past where, um, you know, there's been like almost mini series within the grand scheme of LD. Um, you know, the Alpine Mansion was one of those where it's just like a massive build within a even more massive build. Um, the Eclipse Towers would fall under that category. The stadium would fall under that category. And then now the University of Los Angeles is going to fall under that category of a, just a huge project um, like underneath of the entire common goal of building the city, right? So um, that stuff, that kind of stuff just definitely motivates me to work on. So that's going to be like the majority of my time spent on LD is going to be trying to develop this university. So um, as far as like the plans for the campus, uh, right now we have just like one made road veering off from the stadium. And I also have another side road that's going to be back behind the, the, the initial college lawn. Um, but that's about it is what I have planned right now. I have confidence I'm going to be able to, um, you know, place everything in the right spots. And even if I don't do it right the first time, I can always move things around with world edit. Um, and that will help me out quite a bit. So 
Uh, let's go ahead and get into today's question of the days. We have two question of the days here today, so and they're both very nice questions. So let's get started here. Question of the day number one is going to come from Cobalt Gamer. Cobalt the Gamer, my bad. And the question is, would you rather give up World Edit or give up Texture Packs? This is a good question. It's got a lot of thumb ups in the uh, comments. A lot of people were chiming in on what they might think my answer was going to be. They already knew that I was going to... You guys are just like psychics in the chat, or in the, uh, not the chat, in the comment section. You guys just knew that I was going to answer this question. You're already like, I know how he's going to answer this. But I will tell you guys how I actually am going to answer it right now. So let's break it down into two parts here. World Edit. What, is the, what are the pros and cons of World Edit? And let's compare those pros and cons to the pros and cons of having texture packs. The major pro of World Edit is it takes away the tedious grind of Minecraft, and it also gives you a lot of um, freedom to make mistakes. So let's say, for example, like I just said, if I lay out the entire college campus and I don't really like the way it looks, I can move buildings around with ease and make it uh, you know, suit my liking. Uh, that is a huge plus with World Edit, and it also just makes you feel a lot safer when you're, you're doing things. You can take a lot more risks knowing that you can change them easily, which is a th something that I've definitely taken advantage of since using World Edit. Um, the cons of World Edit... Um, it makes you lazy, I would say. You know, I definitely um, do kind of miss the grind of placing every block by hand on console. So, you know, there is still a little bit of a pride there with that. As far as the pros and cons for texture packs, the major pro, it allows you to expand your creativity. I love the default texture pack as much as the next guy. The default texture pack is classic. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love the default texture pack, but sometimes it can limit your creativity um, in certain ways, uh, just because of like the block choice and you know certain blocks looking better than others, um, and the cons to having no texture pack is that, um, well, first off, like I said, the default is fine, and then I wouldn't have world edit basically if we're comparing this question. So, my answer ultimately, you know what, as a console player at heart, I'm gonna say I am going to give up world edit. You know why? Because I feel like if I was just building the default. Los Angeles just wouldn't be the same. You know, it's so customized to the city texture pack at this point that a lot of builds would really be messed up. Um, so that's something that you have to really consider. Um, and I, I built, you know, almost the entire, you know, beginning of Los Angeles. Well, I did. I built the entire beginning of Los Angeles on console originally. So it's not like I'm like, you know, can't live without world edit. You know, I could go back to that if I had to. So that's probably why I would stick with texture packs. The texture packs just allow you to expand your creativity just to incredible lengths. I mean, you've seen that with the Fantasy Village series with Los Angeles. Texture packs really do matter on a build, and I think they matter a little bit more than World Edit personally. Um, it would be tough to give up World Edit at this point, though, because, man, it is that that uh, wooden axe is my best friend right at this point. But because being able to place these streets down and stuff like that quickly is just... Holy moly, it is a, a huge plus. That's a really tough question, honestly. I don't even know if I'm 100% sure about my answer, but I'd rather give up World Edit and keep Texture Packs. I don't know if that's the right answer, but that's the one that I'm going to go with. So, uh, awesome question there, Coldball the Gamer. That one really made me think about I'm not going to lie. Um, and our second question here comes from ALC Gamer. So, we got a couple of gamers today. I mean, why, why would there not be gamers here on this channel? This is all about gaming here. So that makes sense. We got two guys with gamers in their names. So thank you guys for the questions. And this question is, Dan, what was the largest mistake you found on LD and how did you fix it? All right. So um, it's not really a mistake that I found, uh, but it is definitely something that was diff difficult to fix. And that was when I accidentally deleted half of the Alpine Mansion. I think I made a video about this. Um, I would say probably about two months ago. Uh, what I did was I was messing around with world edit and I wanted to switch out all of the exterior blocks on the Alpine Mansion to jungle wood. And when I did that, I accidentally set the blocks instead of replacing the blocks. And it ultimately just created a gigantic cube of jungle wood that ultimately just completely wiped the Alpine Mansion off of Los Angeles. And it crashed my, my, uh, my Minecraft and I was unable to save the progress. So I came back on the world and there was just an Alpine Mansion just sliced in half, just gone. I'm going to put up some screenshots on the, uh, you know, during the video so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. But um, that honestly made my heart drop a little bit because I had never really had a situation before where I did not know how to fix it. Uh, luckily, I was able to figure out how to get a backup save for Los Angeles and get a, a fresh Alpine Mansion onto, onto the world uh, without too much of an issue. 
I had to get a, a backup save of Los Angeles, and I had to copy and paste an Alpine Mansion from one world to the other using World Edit. So, actually, World Edit did save me there. It saved my bacon. In fact, maybe I should change my answer for the first question since World Edit completely saved me on that. I, without World Edit, I would have had no Alpine Mansion there. So that was something that I don't really think I want to give up. That's basically like asking me, would you rather give up the Alpine Mansion on Los Angeles or Texture Packs? And now I might be switching my answer here a little bit. So um regardless thank you guys for those questions two awesome questions i really appreciate the fantastic question you know just to choose from in every comment section i just scroll down i'm seeing great questions you know left and right so you guys are uh, really good at asking questions and uh, i want you guys to keep it up so with all that being said guys i'm gonna wrap up today's video 10 minute post com hopefully you guys enjoyed the building in the background on the college campus we're just getting started with this and it's going to continue to develop day by day. So guys, thank you so much for watching. It has been Dan Langs. If you guys want to leave a like on this video, that would mean a ton to me. And uh, I will see you guys on the next episode of CLD in a few days. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace out.